In this video, we'll take you through a quick demonstration to show you just how easy it is to capture data in the field with the iQGeo platform. We're going to explore electric and gas utility examples, starting with an electrical scenario. You may start this project by receiving work from iQGeo's Workflow Manager product. It tells you where construction and other activity is happening that needs to be captured and updated with as-builds, helping you to create and maintain a high-quality, accurate view of your network assets. The field capture interface is also available on mobile phones, but during most of this demonstration, we'll be using a larger tablet interface. You're working on the iQGeo platform, so you have full access to the one-box search and all the different layers of your GIS that are overlaid with data from Google and other systems. With this intuitive interface, you can easily see where other work is happening across the organization including repairs and 811 tickets, and all the work that might be happening for inspection and maintenance. In this example, you're going to do a quick design of a new service being added to your network. Your customer here is being brought online, and you receive notification through Workflow Manager that tells you the location of the new connection. As your construction crew actually creates the connection, they can easily capture and track as-built information and you can see what's happening across all the different networks. You already saw where there may be some repair work happening on a transformer that you might need to know about on this circuit in this part of the network. You can also see where all the different activities and construction is happening. This can be seen at a high level from these polygons or at a low level by looking at the different red lines and structured information that's being entered into the system by all the users at the same time. When you zoom in, you can start to capture information, and you can very quickly begin adding additional as-built details, as well as any changes to the existing network. The iQGeo platform will keep track of this for you in a package, which is documented along your top toolbar. If this gets in your way, you can toggle this off and it disappears. When connecting up the customer, you start by adding structured information using a palette at the bottom of the screen. You click on the palette feature here, and it displays the palette, so you can choose where you want the customer connection with the meter location. You place the meter here and capture any associated information in a form that pops up. You can also capture more detailed information about the wire segment and any trenching that's required to connect up this customer. By default, the new features are going to snap to existing assets but you can also turn this off if you want to disable snapping. In this case, you're going to snap to a network asset as you create a secondary that might be tied to some existing secondary over here. You now have a fully connected network model, which means that you can immediately run a network trace and connect it up to the transformer that's displayed. You can also see, using hyperlinks, what devices are upstream in the network and what other customers might be affected by the work that you're doing on the transformer switches, fuses, and other equipment. You can now indicate that this is installed and select Save, and all the information will be captured. While you're in the field, you may want to capture additional as-built details, so you have access to a full set of redlining capabilities. You also have a precision mode that allows you to select any item with a grip and adjust it accordingly. You can explore this capability with a redline example. When you're placing redlines, you can select points, lines, polygons, and other annotation options, and then place them on the map. This might indicate where you're doing some work. You can anchor this down and add a leader line here that can easily be rotated around and moved. Next, you can add dimensions and toggle and set dimension labels. In this example, you want to set a dimension to indicate how far away you are from the curb. You drop in the line, select it, and turn it into a dimension line. You can then toggle and set the dimension labels. The map tells you that it's 54 feet, but as you're in the field, you may know that it's actually 55 feet, so you can override the system with a more precise value. Anything that you've selected with a grip allows you to use precision mode if you want to place something more accurately. In this case, you don't have the building to snap on, so you can use the joystick in the corner of the screen to move the grip point around. 
you have a number of precision capabilities to create different types of red lines, palette type information, and you can, of course, add photos as well. So maybe there's a photo of the pole that's important for this package. You can add that to the map or take photos of the meter. You can even scan barcode or QR codes associated with this meter to capture this important field data. There are also other types of palettes available to you on the menu below. In this case, you're putting in new poles or other field assets. At any time, you can see all the data that's been entered as part of this particular package. This is kept as a design version, away from changes that others might be making. But it's integrated into the system so that you can do network tracing and interrogate the design in other ways. As you can see on the left-hand side, you have the ability to view all the different linked information that you've captured, your notes, photos, and other annotation. When you select this photo, it's displayed in the preview menu on the user interface. You can also expand this area to add red lines within the photo, if you want to highlight something in particular. You add an arrow to point to the damaged area on the pole, and then minimize the photo when finished. As mentioned earlier, all this annotation is kept as part of a package so that others can see it, but this also ensures that it's ready to be sent back into your GIS. And since the IQGO platform is GIS agnostic, this can be any system. You now close out this package and save it. You have options to discard what you've captured or submit the entire package. You can also do this type of work with the Capture Package Manager using the icons at the top of the user interface to access this capability. When you select Package Manager, it shows you all the packages that are available to be added into the system, to query ones that are in progress, and to decide which packages are ready for submission. You can perform queries and activate filters against these active packages, and different results are displayed. At the same time, you can use this interface to submit multiple packages back to the office, rather than doing each one individually. Naturally, you have this same capture capability for gas utility networks. You can create a gas design from the field, just as you did with the electrical scenario, or even combine them together. Deciding which capability and palettes are available is fully configurable. You can see that when you're in the gas design palette, you have different equipment available that you might add for a new gas customer instead of an electrical customer. Just like before, everything you add is included in a package for submission and managed through a workflow process. Using this simple interface, you can quickly view a list of tickets and pending work that needs to be completed. All the IQGO platform capture capability is available on your mobile phone as well. You can see the different redlining and other types of information that's available for access from the same palettes that you were using on the larger tablet screen. We hope that this video provided you with a good overview of just how easy it is to capture field data using the IQGO platform with a tablet or mobile phone, whether you're online or offline. Visit the IQGO website to learn more about our geospatial collaboration and productivity solutions.